will start with a slip knot and chain 15. Twist your chain so the bumps in the back show and then skipping the first bump we'll go into the second bump with half double crochets and we'll just do half double crochets till the end of the row and we'll have 14 half double crochets when we are done. When you count those little V's at the top, you should have 14, not counting the loop on the hook. Then chain one and turn. We will not gonna count that chain as a stitch. So into each stitch till the end of the row, we'll do half double crochets and we'll repeat that for a total of five rows. And we'll do the same thing in the next row. We'll chain one as a turning chain and then we'll do half double crochets till the end of the row and I'm using a kitchen cotton, it's 100% cotton I'm using a smaller hook than the recommended on the label so I don't have any holes and stretch and um, I'm using a wooden rings and there'll be more information in the description box and of course you can comment and ask any questions you have I'll meet you at the end of the five rows. Once you're done with your five rows, chain one, this is your turning chain, get your ring and then leaving the your work in the back and the link, the ring in the front, fold your piece over the ring so you exposed those first row of stitches. If you didn't go into the bump of the stitches, you will have an edge like that. And you're gonna have to pick a loop from here but if you went into the bumps of your chain then you will have a corresponding stitch from one side and one from this side so it's gonna be very easy you're gonna grab the first stitch from the front and the first stitch from the back of your work and you will have A stitch actually will do half double crochets because that's what we did the whole time. So a yarn over for a half double crochet and then pick the loops from those stitches and then finish your work. Yarn over again for the next stitch. Grab that loop from the front. I went a little tight. So another idea is to use a bigger hook for that foundation chain and then use a smaller hook to work up. And there. Tighten because that yarn likes to be pulled because it's not stretchy at all. And then keep going till the end and you'll still have 14 stitches by the end of this row. So you'll have 14 of those as well. Now turn your work and we will start with our lemon peel stitch. Now we're gonna chain two and this counts as a stitch and we're gonna skip that first hole here because that's a stitch and it already has a stitch on top. So we'll go into the next hole and we will do a single crochet and then we'll have a double crochet into the next stitch and then a single crochet so we do count the chain as a double crochet so into the next stitch we'll have a double and then we'll have a single we will alternate double and single for each row so it's a one row repeat it's exactly the same on both sides and creates that beautiful texture this is my favorite stitch so a double crochet a single crochet and then we have a double crochet and then we have a single crochet and then we have a double and always always we end up 
with a single crochet when we have an even number of stitches. So the last stitch is single crochet. Make sure you don't forget that because now when we turn, we're gonna start with chain two again and that single crochet got a double crochet on top. Then the next double crochet from the previous row now will have a single crochet. And that's how we alternate. The next, we have a single crochet from the previous row, but in this row, it will get a double crochet. And this is how we do the whole towel holder, just like that. We alternate those two stitches all the way. And that's all you have to know. And again, we have here a single crochet and then a double crochet. For the single crochet, that spot over here looks like a little nest to me. So we have to nest the single crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row. And that is so easy to spot. And you cannot make a mistake with this stitch because it just shows its spot here. And again, there we end up here. This is our last stitch. This is the chain from the previous row. So do not forget to put a single crochet. Always, always end up with a single crochet. If you didn't end up with a single crochet and when you turn, you don't have a chain two, then you're missing something. So again, we chain two and into the next stitch, we do a single crochet. That chain is actually counted as a double crochet. Then into the single crochet from the previous row, we have a double crochet and then a single crochet and then a double crochet all the way till we reach seven inches. So from ring to ring here on the side, we have seven inches of our lemon peel stitch or any stitch you want actually. And I'll meet you here when it's time to finish the, the work. So I'm done with my seven inches and for me it was 21 rows. So um, I usually go by seven inches and does not care about the rows, but we are back here at the end and now we're gonna crochet five rows of single crochets. So I ended up here and then chain one for your turning chain and then into the first stitch here we're gonna go into each stitch now we'll do half double crochets and just like we did at the beginning. Just half double crochets and there will be 14 double crochets. And don't forget the last stitch here. We'll go through it as well. And we'll do a half double crochet here. Then we'll chain one and turn. And we'll do again a row of half double crochets for a total of five rows. We'll go into the first hole here. And then all the way, just like that, five rows. And I'll meet you back again. We finished our five rows, then we'll chain one as a turning chain and now we'll get our ring, the other ring here, and we'll fold it so that when we pull the loop over here, we're comfortable working. So once you have your loop like that, go back to the front and pull that loop from the base from that last row of 
have double crochets oh actually all the way here grab that loop then pull it right over here this is where we started the first row of half double crochets and now with your yarn coming from the bottom we'll be working from each stitch here in between the stitches we'll go in and then we'll go through the stitch on the other side and we'll have our working yarn pulling through all these stitches over here and through the loop on the hook we're gonna be doing slip stitches all around it with grabbing a stitch from the edge of the towel holder and the body of the towel holder so we'll go through the next stitch and we're just going in between the stitches here and then we'll go in the back and then we'll grab the next stitch we'll grab a loop and we'll pull that loop through the loop on our hook and then make sure you tighten it you don't want to have a gap over here and we'll do it again and they are just corresponding those stitches here and then we'll grab the working yarn or you can also use a needle and just leave a longer thread and you just sew it but i'm avoiding all extra tools if i can just do it with a crochet hook and just like this we'll finish the whole row and once you are done because we worked inside the ring we're just gonna have to slide the ring up and massage your stitches to sit comfortably here and there it is it's all ready and I have another one there as well and you just fold it in two and put it through the handle where you want to go and the towel goes here subscribe to the channel and like this video leave me a comment below if you want to see another version of this with a different stitch and um, I also like the ones with flowers that will be a fun one to crochet so just weave in your ends here and pull them through your stitches so they hide in between the ring and your stitches catch you in the next one